here's how I put in one of my T-bone sets. We've got a big long draw that runs all the way, I don't know, maybe three quarters of a mile starting and just keeps going. Back to my left here. You can't really see it here and I get this trap set in the ground here. I'll kind of get up here and film a little bit to show you how this draw runs where these coyotes keep traveling. So let's get this set in the ground. I'll kind of show you how I do these things. I just want to show you right here. When I dig my trap bed in this hard old rocky ground I've got here, I try to dig no bigger than what my trap's going to be so I don't disturb any ground because we want to keep it just as natural looking as we okay, can. Okay, now we've got our trap bedded and blended. Let's take this bone. We're going to set it back nine to ten inches. We're going to drive it in here in the ground. Drive it in there good. Or he's going to come by and just take it with him. All right, he ain't getting that out. Now let's put us a little lure in it. I've got a little wool. You don't have to use the wool, but I was in a pasture yesterday that had quite a bit of sheep looking at some coyote sign and found some on the ground, so I thought I'd utilize it. So it makes a pretty good lure holder. Take a little bit of our coyote poo, just sit here for just a, just a little attractant. Take our urine, freshen our poo a little, cover our trap. My finished T-bone set. All right, here's that draw I was talking about. Runs all the way down through here. I got a couple of sets right up here. And then right on down, just right over this hump there, you can see that's the T-bone set we just set. The draw just keeps running right on through there. Really good coyote country.